Baruch Shani to Baruch 83. For El Elyon will assuredly hasten his times, and he will assuredly bring on his hours, and he will assuredly judge those who are in his world, and will visit in truth all things by means of all their hidden works. And he will assuredly examine the secret thoughts and that which is laid up in the secret chambers of all the members of man, and will make them manifest in the presence of all with reproof. Let none, therefore, of these present things ascend into your hearts, but above all, let us be expectant, because that which is promised to us shall come, and let us not now look unto the delights of the other nations in the present, but let us remember what has been promised to us in the end. For the ends of the times and of the seasons, and whatsoever is with them, shall assuredly pass by together. The consummation, moreover, of the age shall then show the great might of its ruler, when all things come to judgment. Do ye therefore prepare your hearts, for that which before ye believed, lest ye come to be in bondage in both worlds, so that ye be led away captive here, and be tormented there. For that which exists now, or which has passed away, or which is to come, in all these things, neither is the evil fully evil, nor again the good fully good. For all healthinesses of this time are turning into diseases, and all might of this time is turning into weakness, and all the force of this time is turning into impotence, and every energy of youth is turning into old age and consummation, and Every beauty of gracefulness of this time is turning faded and hateful, and every proud dominion of the present is turning into humiliation and shame, and every praise of the glory of this time is turning into the shame of silence. And every vain splendor and insolence of this time is turning into voiceless ruin. And every delight and joy of this time is turning to worms and corruption. And every clamor of the pride of this time is turning into dust and stillness. And every possession of riches of this time is being turned into the grave alone. And all the rapine of passion of this time is turning into involuntary death, and every passion of the lusts of this time is turning into a judgment of torment, and every artifice and craftiness of this time is turning into a reproof of the truth. And every sweetness of unguents of this time is turning into judgment and condemnation. And every love of lying is turning to contumely, rather, contumely through truth. Since, therefore, all these things are done now, does anyone think that they will not be avenged? But the consummation of all things will come to the truth.